MU Essentials are a terrible place to start when getting into music. A lot of the albums on that list are way too out there for some people who has lack of experience with anything slightly experimental or out of the box. IDK. I wouldn't recommend anyone start there. Well, what would you like recommend people start with? Like the Rolling Stone fucking 500 albums list? I don't know. I feel like you don't necessarily get the the 4chan music board essentials uh you know pictorial in front of you unless you're actively seeking out something that you know is is going to be a little weird or a little out there or show you stuff that's like more abstract and artsy and critically acclaimed. I mean, that's kind of the whole process of what getting into music is. You are going to anticipate hearing things, at least you should anyway, anticipate hearing things that are going to challenge your conceptions of what music could or should be. At least that's what uh, I think getting into music should be. And look, that's not to say that uh, you're not into music unless you're listening to to stuff that's weird, but everyone knows about that time in their lives uh, when they used to just listen to whatever was on the radio or whatever was the most popular, easiest to listen to, or basic, and then you found yourself in a place where you're trying out stuff that is uh, maybe more challenging or more uh, emotionally intense or strange or out there or weird, or at least, at least it seemed that way to you at the time. Look, I mean, I will agree to an extent that there are some albums and artists on that essentials list that, yeah, I mean, for someone who you could effectively call a normie, uh, those records might be kind of weird, but I don't know. I, I think we all kind of start at that place at some point in time, and I mean, when it's come to my own musical journey, I, I fondly look back on those points in history where, uh, yeah, the first time I heard Captain Beefheart, the first time I heard, uh, you know, Old Dirty Bastard, the first time I heard, um, I don't know, frickin' uh, Earth 2, I thought it was weird, oh, I thought, oh, I thought this was crazy, oh my god, a shape of jazz to come, whoa, <laughs> I, I, who, who would ever think of a fucking thing? You know, putting yourself in that place where you're, you're hearing some wild shit, what seems like wild shit to you at the time for the first time, like, that can be pretty cool and exciting. And, and frankly, uh, as I am gonna be 40 in like half a decade, um, yeah, I, I miss those moments. I miss those moments. I mean, while I still find a lot of music these days I enjoy, it's not often that I'm really phased by anything. You know, I, I feel like, you know, in a way I've almost like heard everything, you know, and, and that's not to, uh, to show off or, um, you know, say, oh, I know more than you or blah, 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 blah. But, you know, it, it is sort of odd to reach a point where you're not getting like those crazy sort of surprises anymore. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it would be nice to have one every once in a while. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, uh, watching. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, music, the forever.